500 lumen LED pin light with clip brighten up your medical inspections. Medical inspections. Guys, welcome back to the Dirtbag Outdoors YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning on in. Check out this shirt. Shout out to unlimitedammo.com. Make sure you go check out the exclusive code down below. Uh, the table's got some random stuff on it. Uh, Kiger, old HR22, batteries, some ammo, earmuffs, mag loader. Why? Why is this stuff up here? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. No, I'm gonna show you why. Guys, I fell, I fell into the rabbit hole, okay? I'm not proud, I'm not proud. But, I fell into the rabbit hole. And I ordered a bunch of junk off of Timu. Timu, Timu, I don't know. It's, it's like the new Wish.com, you know what I mean? That's, all, that's the best way I can describe it. It's like Wish.com but up and coming, it's the newer version. I don't know. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I got my order on my phone. I couldn't print it out, so I'm gonna have to reference my order on my phone here. Let, let's get into this. I cut open the, the, the package and then realized that I want to do this on camera for you guys, so. Uh, first and foremost, let's, let's see what's in here. I th it's some sort of pouch, I think. I ordered some tactical stuff, some shooting related stuff. And then, you know, I kind of just kept adding stuff to the cart that it was like, you may like this, you may like this. And it could have been worse, but I still ended up spending like 120 bucks, I think. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Uh, this is a, almost, I don't, it's, it's kind of like an IFAC pouch in a way, sort of. Molly, first aid kit, pouch. Um, it's not one-handed, it doesn't look like, so it's not like an IFAC. How do you get into this? Upon first glance, it seems okay. There's enough storage, tourniquet, shears. It feels like every other pouch. Let's see what this one is called. Stay prepared on the go, camouflage first aid bag for home, outdoor, camping, hiking, and travel. It's item number one. Next out of the bag, this is the magazine loader. This is the real Uplula right here. This is the counterfeit, or is it counterfeit? Is that the right word? Copy, replica? Um, their version of it. I don't, I don't know the proper word. It's called uh, MT Loader. The MT Loader. We're going to test it here too, live on camera. This thing is called One Piece Universal Bullet Box Durable Nylon Material for Quick Pop Up and Bounce Back Feeding. Say that three times fast. Uh, let's load up a magazine. Let's just see if it works. We already know the Uplula works. It's always great. Uh, it definitely works. Let's try the original, the name brand. See if I notice any differences. The real one's a little smoother. This one has like a little like spot where it kind of like grits. It has a little gritty spot in it, but it, it works just fine. I'm kind of surprised. This was, let's see, what did I pay for this? I paid $4.18 for this, just so you know. That pouch, I paid $3.77 for. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so this actually seems okay. I've, I'll throw it in the range bag. I'll throw it in the range bag if, if a buddy needs to borrow one or I misplaced mine or something. Hey, you know, why not? What else do we got? Item number three. This is a, not that, that's not that. This is, if I think if this is right. Yeah, this is a 100% linen tactical suppressor heat shield sleeve. Protect your airsoft gun silencer with military grade protection. I don't have a suppressor. So I, don't, I can't try this on anything. Uh, from the little bit I know about suppressors, seeing them in passing, uh, it looks like this might be a little skinny. It's also really long. That's a really long, I just dropped on the floor. That's a really long 
suppressor cover. I paid $4.38 for that. Quality did seem okay. It just seemed like it was, it was like would wrap around a hot dog. It didn't seem like it would wrap around a, you know, kind of average or full size suppressor. Uh, let's see what else we got. I ordered some targets, because targets are expensive. And when you shoot a lot, you know, that's why I shoot paper plates and stuff a lot of times. This actually, I think was a pretty good value. This was a 25 pack of shoot and see style targets printed on pretty nice vinyl. It actually feels pretty okay. I'm not gonna lie. Eight inches, it comes with your pasters. And those cost $4.75 for 25 of them. I feel like that's pretty okay. It's not like a steal of a deal, but I'm gonna shoot them. So, eh, so far, really not too bad. I bought some other targets. These are, I thought these would be bigger than this. That's what she said. Uh, these are five pack, like kind of side end targets. Okay, I don't know if they're the shoot and see splatter style. It doesn't say, it says, shooting target paper fluorescence target papers for airsoft BB toy gun airsoft shooting bow and arrow. So that's what those are. I paid $1.98 for those. You know, it's okay. Up next. I think this is the bigger thing for the other pouches to go on. Yeah. So this, it kind of looks like the front of a book bag. It's got straps on the back. This is designed to go over your car seat. Not like a kid's car seat, but like on the back of your like driver's seat or something. And it's got Molly points, some Velcro and some pouches. And that's kind of why I bought this stuff. Cause if it works, I'll keep first aid stuff, you know, shooting glasses, extra muffs and stuff in the truck at all times. I, I think it's, I think it's valid worth a try. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, this is a military grade car back seat organizer, tactical accessories, Molly pouch, storage bag, outdoor self driving hunting seat cover bag, self driving guys, self driving hunting seat bag. Uh, it seems okay. It seems okay. I paid $8.77 for this thing. Once I'm done with this stuff, I'm gonna go out there and put it on the car and I'll show you, don't worry. Up next, another pouch. Yeah, this is just another Molly, Molly pouch. Kind of a weird size. I don't really remember what was going through my head when I got this. I don't know what you do with it. I, it, I, it seems okay. Again, I'm not sure what it's for exactly, but. This is the, this is the one piece tactical Molly attachment bag, the perfect outdoor EDC tool for medical first aid. I don't know what you put in here or what it does exactly, but I, I really don't know why I bought this. I paid, I paid $5.68 for this. I don't, I don't know why I got this y'all. That was, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed, okay. Uh, let's see, what is this? We got drywall anchors, I know what this is. This is the uh, PMAG rack. This is a, a six piece, or it holds six PMAGs. This is called, organize your magazines with this stylish solid ABS 6X standard PMAG wall mount magazine rack. Do I have a PMAG up here? I don't have a PMAG, hold, hold, that, hold the phone. I'm gonna go grab some PMAGs. Okay, I'm back, it also comes with screws. So it looks like you hang them like this. Oh, hey. This is actually, this one's not a PMAG. What is this? This is an MFT. Uh, it doesn't work as good as a PMAG. The PMAG, the PMAGs actually work pretty good. This one's okay. I mean, it still works, but it's not smooth like the PMAG. That's actually kind of cool, you guys. That's actually kind of cool. It comes with screws, anchors, and the rack itself. I paid $6.98 for this. So overall, not bad. I think I'd recommend it. Let's keep it going. Let's see what else we got in this bag of orange. All right, up next in the bag, this is a roll of something. Uh, I think I bought a couple of pictures or what I thought were like posters. That's crinkled. It's definitely damaged in shipping. So this is probably garbage. Not ideal. Oh yeah, this thing's like ruined y'all. Why? why I thought it was kind of a neat poster. It's got a bunch of cool rifles and carbines on it. Although I don't like the words at the top. Uh, I guess that's cool. 
but it's damaged and shipping and it's it's this that's no good. Um, I paid a dollar seventy nine for that. So I paid a dollar seventy nine for that hot garbage. Not great. Let's go ahead and look at the other one. I know there's another one in here. This one doesn't seem as damaged. And again, I just thought this was cool. It looks like old, old printed paper. Uh, this is in Russian. Well, I don't know if it's real Russian or if this is like Chinese Russian. I don't, I don't actually know. But um, it's like exploded or, or kind of a diagram of the AK-47. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll try to flatten that one out, hang it up somewhere. It, it is kind of neat. Excuse me. It is kind of neat, but they can't ship these very good at all. I paid $1.79 for that one as well. Let's keep going. Uh... Yeah, okay, this, guys, I have Walker's razor muffs, okay? That's, I use Walker razor muffs. I'm not sponsored or anything, I just, I like them. I like the low profile. And that's what these are supposed to be. Let's take a gander here. They say Walker's, they got the logo. I have a huge head, so I have to, extend them. I don't know. Can we compare these? See what, see, I'm usually pretty good about spotting fakes. They're pretty close. I, they don't sell real stuff on there, right? Like am I, there's slight differences in the band in the, in the head strap itself and the, or the headband itself. There's slight differences. Everything looks, there's slight differences in the way that the, the cups are attached. These are electronic. I don't have a battery in them yet, but very quiet. Let me try the real ones. Uh, the real, the real, and again, I, I'm assuming these are, are knockoffs. I don't actually know. They did come with a piece of paper that has the Walker's logo and everything and like toll free numbers and stuff. Maybe, maybe they're real. I don't know. Maybe these are made in China. I don't know. I don't actually know. I know that when I bought these, they didn't come in a box like this. That's kind of what I'm going off of. Mine didn't come with patches or Velcro. Um, let's see, how do you get the battery in these? I forget, I think it's this. Triple A's, I got some triple A's here. I figured I might need them. Let's see. Test. Test. Testing. Testing. Uh, guys, these operate the same. They, they, they feel just as good. Um, slightly less comfortable, maybe because they're new though. Mine are, I've been, I've had these for years. So they're tighter around the head. Maybe that's just because they're new. I don't know. I'm going to try them at the range because in here in the studio, these things feel pretty nice. I, I can't even lie. I'm blown away. I expected these to go right in the garbage. And let's, uh, the description on these bad boys. W1 electronic muff outdoor sports anti-noise impact sound amplification headset. Doesn't say anything about walkers. So I'm pretty sure that these are not walkers. These are a lot cheaper than walkers, but they feel good and they, the amplification, everything seemed like identical. It did. I don't know. I paid $15 and 67 cents for these. I, I'm kind of blown away. I'm kind of blown away at that right now. I'm not even going to lie. I'm getting cluttered up here. Let's get, let's get this out of here. What else we got? Uh, oh yeah. I bought some, some rip off boar snakes. I used the crap out of these. I bought one for 22 and one for nine millimeter. Let's see which one this one is. Some of the cheap boar snakes. I don't know if you guys know this, some of the cheap boar snakes don't go through your barrels. Like they, they're not made exact enough. This one's a 22 one. Um, it's only got one brush. A lot of the hops or the hoppies real ones have two brushes. I don't know if they all do. Got an old school HR model 930 nine shot revolver here. Let's see if we can get this bad boy down the muzzle. I'm just going to drop it in right here. Hmm. 
Voilà, ouais, voilà, voilà. Ouf. It's, it's a little too fat, but it did work. Let's try it through one of the cylinders. I even cleaned my 22 cylinders chambers with these things too. And I think the Hoppies brand, um, I don't recommend the Allen, I think, the Bornados. Those are the ones I've had the most issues with fitting properly. Uh, this fits, this, this does okay. I think once it wears in, it'd be all right. And I paid $2.78. That, that's about $10 cheaper than a Hoppies, like at Walmart or something like that. Uh, seems fine, seems okay. Should we go ahead and try the uh, nine millimeter one? Well, now let's see what this is. A multi-tool. This is a one piece, 14 in one. Portable multi-tool, stainless steel pliers, pocket knife, bottle opener, and more. Perfect for camping, hunting, and hiking. I'm sure it's super high quality. Uh, spring loaded pliers. That spring is gonna pop out right away guaranteed. Uh, I don't know. I, what did I pay for this? I paid $4.68. I don't think that that's a very great deal. Um, I'm going to put it in my range bag though for like a little backup tool. Let's move on. It's okay. I, I don't, I don't think I recommend this one right off that. It's going to go in the range bag. We're going to test it. Let's keep going. All righty. What else we got? I think it's just a couple more things. We got, what is this? I think this is a flashlight. 500 lumen LED pin light with clip brighten up your medical inspections. Guys, I've always, haven't you always wanted to brighten up your medical inspections? I'm sure this is 500 lumens for sure. Five, <laughs> 500 lumens. This, this isn't even, Oh my God, you guys, don't waste your money. Do not waste your money. I guess if you need something small in a pinch for a very small, very dark space, it'll get you by. I wouldn't even recommend it if you're a mechanic doing inspections. It's not, there's Streamlight, there's so many better options. But I paid only $2.97. So I guess it'll go in the truck until the battery dies and then I'll probably throw it in garbage. I don't know, we'll see. I think we only got two items left, y'all. This is a gun cleaning mat style thing. I guess you could also use it as like a mouse pad. Oh, this actually feels pretty nice. I always find it ironic of having American, American stuff made in China. This is the one that was on sale. I bought the one that was on sale. It was the American flag one. I paid I still, pay, I still paid a lot for this, actually. I can't believe I bought this. $9.27 I paid for this. It does feel very heavy, though. It's got, a, let's see if it, yeah, it's got a nice non-slip back. I'd still recommend you guys go support your local place that sells these. All in all, I don't think it's that bad. It, it seems nice. And this one, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this one. Oh, we got something else. Two, we got three things left, what? Last pouch. What is this thing? This is a military grade tactical utility waste pack. Perfect for hunting, survival, and first aid. Waste pack. What do you, no? No? Uh, it's okay. It's just a cheap pouch. It, it doesn't have molly. It, it kind of does. It's got these little straps, some Velcro. I paid. $2.88 for this, and I just clicked on it, and they are now $1.98. <laughs> so, uh, you know, $1.98, I guess, I guess it's fine, I guess it's fine. Here's the nine millimeter boar snake. Let's run it through the Kyger Pro here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it feels right, it feels good, it feels okay. What did I pay for that one? I paid $2.88 for that one. Ultimate gun cleaning kit. Uh, I think it's fine. I think, it's, I think I'd recommend it for that. And guys, last but not least, this one I know is gonna be laughably bad. It has to be. This is the 80 by 100 high definition monocular telescope zoom long range and capture stunning views with tripod and phone clip. Perfect for outdoor adventures. 
Maybe you can zoom in on your phone. I don't know. Lens cloth. Pouch. But what's 80 by 100 mean? It's not a 100 millimeter objective lens. Like what are, do they just pick whatever numbers they want to use? The picture that is like 12 feet away seems pretty clear. I don't know what they're talking about 80 times though. That, that's just a lie. That's just a, a lie. Guys, this is pretty bad. I don't recommend this. I paid $10.97 for this 80 power thing that is literally like, I'd say it's probably four power, maybe six power if that. It's, it's no good. It does work, I guess. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this thing. Maybe I'll shove it in the range bag as just like a, a backup to, to binoculars or something. I, I, I don't know. For 11 bucks, I'm not so sure I'm feeling it. I mean, what are you gonna, what is this? We're gonna go tactical tripod mode. <laughs> Can you guys see this tiny little, it doesn't even have an angled eyepiece. So you can't even like look down like this. Get off of there. I don't know, this is silly. I, I don't know what you do with this. Uh, yeah guys, I got a mess to clean up. This, is, this was silly, this was kind of a waste of money. Quick recap, I guess. I'm kind of impressed with these. I like the boar snakes for the value that you pay, a couple dollars a piece. I, I think I might get some more in every caliber if they seem to hold up after a few cleans. Uh, target seemed okay, but not a super great deal. And then the pouches seem all right. The pictures, no go. This, no good. I'd pass on the multi-tool. The magazine loader seemed okay too. That, that was a significant savings over the, the real name brand one. Uh, and yeah, you guys let me know if you like the style of video. Before it totally ends, I'm gonna show you what this bag stuff looks like in the, in the car. But yeah, check out the links down below. Thanks to unlimitedammo.com. Check out the exclusive code down below. I love you guys, we'll see you next time, take it easy. All right guys, so as promised, we are in the back of my SUV here with the uh, tactical rear seat thing. I mean, it, it does what it says it's supposed to do. I mean, you, you do have to strap it around your seat, but I was able to tuck everything in so you can't really tell. Uh, it's actually kind of okay. It, it's got a big old pouch here, as you can see. Velcro for your tactical patches right there. Uh, molly webbing, I put two of the pouches on. This thing here, this is dumb. I don't know what this is for. It, it doesn't go onto this very good. It's, it's, this thing is junk. I did find out that the, I was playing around, the, this is kind of an IFAC, so it does rip off one-handed. Now you still have to unzip it, but it does rip off one-handed if you need to take it on the go. So that is a bonus. This is the little pouch that said waste pack, but you know, I don't know. It's uh, it's actually not bad. You got your three big pouches down here. And yeah, overall, I think for a few bucks, it's, it's, it's not that bad of an option. It doesn't look that bad. I'll probably keep it on here. Probably start putting some junk in it. I don't know. You guys let me know. We'll see you next time.